All right, we're gonna talk about making a blog post, basically the meat and meat and potatoes of your website and how it works and operates. Right now, we obviously just have these generic posts that we've inserted for the for the time being uh, until you actually add you know your your content to the site, your actual real content. So let's go ahead and just dive right in. We're logged into the back end, and what we want to do is come to the post section, and the first thing we'll see is all the posts listed that have been made to this point. Just, you know, f some five little test posts. And what I'll go ahead and do is just create a new one. We'll go ahead and give it the title, and obviously that's the title that shows up right here. And we'll do designing and building is fun. All right, so oh, let me back up actually. Let me Real quick, right now you're probably looking, I don't well maybe you are, but if you're looking right here, you're probably going to see yours looks entirely different than mine. Um, so if you caught that, I'll, let me go over that real quick. If I click this visual tab, this is more than likely what you see. All right, so two, two other things real quick. One, this is a visual mode, so it's kind of like, a, you know, like an email editor. What you see is what you get, also known as, as a WYSIWYG. All right, so if I type something out, you know, then I can highlight it, I can click the B button, make it bold, or I can highlight it and um, give it a give it a color, or or I can give it a block quote, or make a list, or you know, some other things, or or or, or whatever. Um, so that's the first thing. Next is click this little icon. This is called the kitchen sink, and it's going to give you some other options where you can actually, I said before, color it, but I noticed that I didn't open it. Um, so if I click this. I can actually choose some colors. Um, I can, you know, underline. Basically, do what you would do with a normal text editor and or an email. Um, and while I'm on that, I do strongly recommend is uh, to stay away from the urge of coming in here and just adding colors and adding underlines and, and you know doing heading formatting and all that stuff just because you can and it's fun and it's cool. Because um, what ends up happening is people start playing around and then their site. Is immensely, um, uh, I guess, non-congruent. It, it doesn't, you know, it's got different fonts and different colors, and just looks a little goofy. So try to try to avoid that as much as possible if, uh, if you can. Um, next is the HTML uh, button, and that's what I was in previously to this when we first got here. This is what I like to operate in because it's easy. I can just kind of, oops, sorry about that. Kind of type my stuff out, hit enter, and do whatever. Um, then I have a few buttons in here that I can still use if I need them. So if I want to do bold, you know, if I want to make a hyperlink, I can still do all that stuff. Um, and the reason I, I, I say that and show that is visual, this visual editor can at times get you into trouble um, if you play around with it too much. So, you know, you'll notice if, if I do this and then I do this and then maybe I do, let's see, a quote here. All right, so maybe I want to quote just this word, which we can do by clicking this. If I click it, what happens? It quoted this whole thing. So there's little little things and little issues, and that's why I try to avoid that. But that's clearly up to you. I just kind of wanted to, to touch base on that. All right, so let's go ahead and, 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 and jump back in. I've, I've given a name. Designing building is fun. All right, so then what I want to do is, you know, paste in my, my article, my, my content. So I'm going to drop that in. I do recommend you hand type this. If you are going to copy and paste, do it without formatting, meaning don't just copy from a Word document and then paste. You're going to have all these elements that were created in that Word document transmitted over to your site, and it's going to cause layout issues and problems, and it's going to drive you absolutely nuts. They do have a button for inserting plain text, and from a Word document, I find that they, they're okay. They don't work great. Um, you can still have some issues with those, that, but that I'll leave that up to you. That's up to you. Okay. Um, so next, moving on, then what I want to do is choose a category. Um, you might not really need those because per your per your your design, you didn't have categories. Um, but I think once you start working with a blog, you're going to want to add those. And I'm actually going to touch categories in, in, a, in a in a widget tutorial later on. Um, so I would recommend maybe starting using those to maybe help build on your site, which is great for SEO and actually great for helping people navigate through your site, especially if you have a lot of blog posts on there. So I'll go ahead and, and create a new one. So I'm going to call this, um, let's do design, add category, 
And then maybe we'll just do one called Color Collective, you know, why not? We'll add it. And see, and then when you come, these, will, these categories will be by default in, on every post that you try to make. So all you have to do is come in here and select them if you want them or add new ones. All right. So let me go ahead and save my draft. And what I can do is before I publish it, I can view and see what it looks like. So if I click preview, I can see what it looks like before saved. So what I got now is the title of it. I have, you know, who, who wrote the article, which is the fall the, the admin right now, because that's what I'm signing in as. The date, the picture that's associated with the user. And again, I will cover that a little bit later. And then here is our post, our, our basically what the post is going to look like. All right. So let's go ahead and close this out. And what we're missing is if we come to the live site, is we're missing this picture and we're missing the read more text. So first thing, let's go ahead and do a read more. And that's really easy. Just put your mouse clicker or your pointer wherever you want to insert it. And right up here we have an icon for insert more tag. See that? Click it. Boom. Set. So I can save this. Preview it. Um, all right, sorry, can't preview the read more. My mistake, we have to publish the read more. Well, I'll come back to that. that. We'll come back to that. Okay, so next thing is is the image that we're seeing, this large image. So how do we get that in there? Really easy. Find where you want it. So maybe you want it at the bottom, maybe you want it at the middle or whatever. Go ahead and actually, let me back up. I apologize again. Let me back up. That's another section. We want to come to featured image. I apologize. Come to featured image right here. Click this. And then what we can do is choose from our computer by hitting select file and then navigating to, to it. Or we can actually drag and drop a picture right into it. So if you have a picture on your desktop, you can just drag it right in there, which is, which is, which is really cool. All right, so let me go ahead and select a file. I think I got a little, just a little generic little picture here. Okay, so I'm uploading it. There's a picture, the file name, the type, the size, all that kind of good, boring stuff. And then what I want to do is come down to this link that says Use as Featured Image. Click this. And then we'll notice right here at the bottom right, we can see the picture is now in this frame. That means it's done. It's good to go. So let's go ahead and X out. I will publish. And when you hit publish, it's going to automatically add it to the live site. And now what we have is the read more I was originally telling you about that I didn't tell you the right the first, the right, the first way. Um, and then below that is our picture that we inserted. And you'll see that the system auto crops this. So if you have a large image and you, you insert it, it's going to crop it down so it fits in there nicely. So you don't have to worry about perfectly sizing the image for you. Let me go ahead and click more. And then what we have is the full article and then the rest of our, our stuff. Okay, next is we can do a little bit more with this. We can maybe you want to add some more stuff to this to, to the rest of this article so it's you know looking nice and uh, you know people want to look through it so let's come and insert a picture so if I click my this is what I actually was trying to tell you a minute ago when I forgot about the featured image so if I click my mouse pointer where I want an image and then I come up to this little icon right here add media click and then I can select a, a picture from my computer or I can use the media library and the media library consists of all images that, that have been uploaded to your site. So from this point on, every time you upload a picture, it saves it, and then you can always access that picture for later use, which is you know which is great. So I'll come in here and I'll just grab this little picture right here. It's the event picture. I'll click the show button. There it is. Scroll down a little bit more, and then what I'll do is I'll choose the size. I think I'll use a thumbnail size 150 by 150. I'll float it right. This little alignment, we can wrap the text around it. So we can wrap text left, we can wrap text right, and etc. All right, then what I want to do is use this image. Before we use as featured image for the for the picture to show up, um, where were we? To have it show up right here. But if we want to insert the picture inside the text, we must use the button that says use this image. So go ahead and click this. We'll update, come back, and let's go check the page. And there we are. We have a picture that I inserted. Now the text is wrapping around it, and etc. 
And then outside of that, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, you just want to use the text, maybe do some bold or, or highlight some stuff or create links that maybe you think are important to help you know the uh, the site look or other article you know read much better than just having plain you know text and no images and stuff. So, um, okay, just making sure I'm not leaving anything out. That's about it. For, oh, one other thing. I almost forgot. See this little box that says Add to Resources? And I'm going to cover this again in the widget section, but I want to touch base on it twice. That way we're, you know, we're covering everything and we're remembering. Right here, if you add, if you click Yes for this, whoops, we have a Resources section. So basically you're choosing what's going to show up here and how we do that is by choosing yes for this. All right. So if I update that for the designing is built uh, is fun, and I refresh this page, there it is. So that's how you add a section to this resources section. The archive is by default. That's just by date, and then connect is just your your social stuff. And these other sections we'll go over. Um, excuse me, in other tutorials. All right. We're Approaching 12 minutes, and this is this is getting a bit long. I don't want to go uh, you know much longer than this. Um, I'll catch you on the next one.